time to prep squirrel for the first time. I'm gonna be marinating it tonight with some Worcestershire sauce, paprika, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, cumin, brown sugar, salt, and black pepper. I'll marinate overnight and then tomorrow I will slow cook it. Uh, I already started cutting it up. Cut off the legs, cut off an arm. Here's the rest of it. Does it look weird? I mean, it looks look really like... red. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. That's basically how wild game is. It tends to be, it's more red. Why? I don't know. It's a sign of better, more exercise or something? more fresh? No, I don't think more fresh. I think it's oh. a diet. Well, Why is it so red? That's what Compared to what? Like, like if you get chicken from like the store. Chicken's white meat, though. That's a, uh, So that's a different type of meat. Uh, wait, how about if it's like beef? Beef is red. Beef is darker uh, than this. Ven nice. Venison, elk will be even darker than this. Uh, yeah, so. I mean, the reason it's all dark here, and that's where the arrow went through. So it's a bit of bloodshot meat. So that, that's like the meat that's damaged. I'll probably trim trim away the black stuff. I don't really need to though. If I slow cook it, I think it'll be fine. But like the the blood is tends to be like where the gamey gamey flavor that people complain about come from. Yeah, so this is like one of the reasons why um you're gonna eat it, your shot placement matters a lot. Cause you don't wanna damage the meat a lot. All right, time to season this. Add some olive oil. Mix that up. Salt it. Black pepper. <clears throat> Paprika. Garlic powder. Chopsticks right, a little bit. Yeah, I gotta make sure I get seasoned in here on the inside. <clears throat> a little bit of cumin and cayenne pepper. So are you following a recipe? <laughs> kind of. The only thing extra I added is the cumin. Mm. But yeah, the rest is just these seasonings, brown sugar. Um, and is then... the barbecue sauce like later? After you yeah, it's after it's cooked where you use like just a sauce on it. Once it's cooked, you pour it over. It's like once you separate all the meat. Brown sugar, give it some sweet. Just make sure I rub it on the inside well. That's not really on the inside. Added a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Put some on the inside too. A little bit of basil. All right, so squirrel has been marinating overnight. Open it up. So it looks like after a night of marinating, I'm going to put it in a slow cooker and let it cook for maybe an hour or two. See how long it takes. I don't think it should take too long because the squirrel's kind of small. Oh yeah, I'm going to weigh it out first, actually. Squirrel weighs 462 grams. Which is about one pound of meat. So, I'm guessing before I skinned it, gutted it, squirrel may have been close to two pounds. Just put it in the slow cooker, you know, add a little bit of chicken broth, and then uh, turn it on. I'm 
also gonna add also gonna add some onions to the squirrel and slow cooker. Mix this up a bit. So this has been cooking for about an hour, 20 minutes now. I'm going to take a look at how it's doing so far. Starting to come off the bone. I'll move it around. some more time. All right, it's been cooking for about two hours now. Pretty tender. You gotta peel off the bone and put it back in the pot. I just peeled all the meat off the bones. Here's the squirrel. All right, here's the finished product. Slow cooked squirrel taco. All right, I'm eating the leftover squirrel from yesterday. I didn't record me eating it yesterday, so I'm gonna eat it again and tell you what it tastes like. Mm. Basically taste just like chicken thighs. It's not gamey, not chewy. I slow cooked it for about two and a half hours. And then I shredded the meat, pulled off the bones, and I mixed it with some barbecue sauce. It basically tastes like pulled chicken thighs with barbecue sauce. And taco, the lettuce, tomato, cheese, avocado. It's messy though. 